May 20th, 1995. After losing his WBA and Michael Moore, Evander Holyfield is on the comeback. Merciless, Ray Mercer. Would be a brawling, bloody 10-round war. Holyfield Mercer. In 1988, he represented the United States, and he sees this as his last to be among the heavyweight elites against Marion Wilson, a journeyman opponent here in Atlantic City. That he faces the challenge of a comebacking light heavyweight John Scully. Mercer comes in at 200 and stick draw last summer against Wilson. What later doctors diagnosed Holyfield with a heart defect and he said he was healed. Doc Mayo Clinic the famed institution in Minnesota verified that. Whether it was a heart problem or, or whatever the case, very big man compared to him, and he just, he's got tremendous. Ray Mercer! Real deal! Holy Now, be careful with your follow up punch. I hit a man on the deck. If either. Very direct and oddly when he was never hit the canvas in his career. And Vander has a spectacular jab when he's on with it. He's very precise. Now, the question is, what do you want to be able to push through that or not? In terms of the Kindor pounds, but he did have to cut a 240 at the early stage of Holyfield catches him with a left hook. I'm pretty sure of that. Of course, there's a Tommy in the other way. Make it a little bit more of a physical fight. That test will move on to the layoff, and the left hook looked good, John. Yeah, it seems like Evander was trying out several different punches this part. Second round of our heavyweight main event from here at the Atlantic City Convention, just a 10 rounder, but everything Arian Wilson. Prior to that, he had the rematch with Jesse Ferguson. You know, putting the pressure on, I think that's going to help him later if the real is in. Self doubts can be combination. There's a good right hand right between the guard of. The way that he's going to get him tired. Good. Right hand comes in from Mercer. No hold. Turn back with his own jab to slow him down. Does so there, and a right hand by Mercer to close out the second round. Finished up strong in that second round, John. I think Ray could have stole the round there at the end. It was kind of an uneventful round, not a really decisive round either way. Showing that aggression and getting advantage. Right hand to close out the final seconds of the round. It's his time. Feels he needs this to remain. Right hand after the double jab from Mercer. Jab, and that, that turns out bad for him in almost every instance. Mercer throws a lead right hand. So far, whoever whoever leads with the jab seems. Holyfield comes back with the straight left hand after the what? There's a nice right when Holyfield went to lift his left hand. Picks up here in the final minute of this third round. His jabs more willing to take a step in. Good third round between. Holyfield, you gotta stay with the jab. Soon as you spin, half step, John. Changes and the uh, Holyfield's countering well, while Ray Ray seems to be aggressive in, in spots like this, and he looks off off his own jabs and Ray's aggression. Ray's got to back Holyfield up a little bit, put some pressure on his heart. What an exchange here in round four! But he hasn't really thrown a punch in about 15 advantage of something here, but they, they exchange with each other. Dunning upset and spending the better part of medical issues. Retired doctors have verified the fact that Evander Holyfield has no heart defect. See, Ray's got Evander backing up. He should keep that momentum going. Ray has to, even if he has to engage him physically back. Right hand from Mercer. Holyfield throws one of his own.
in a roundabout way, what you're basically... I don't care who you are. If you're a Vander Holyfield right now, you have some questions in your mind. And Ray has to find the answers to those questions. End of four. Holyfield, the long layoff and coming into this fight. First half of this fight. In and force him to back up. But right now, he's only making contact with Evander. He's not... Nice body shot with a right hand after the section. He had success with that earlier. And then comes back with a right hand upstairs, does Ray Mercer. Now, if he wanted to really play mental games with Holyfield's mind, that's a, that was a trick, actually, that Sugar Ray Robinson used to do. He used to throw... throw. Robert Holyfield caught him with a right hand. Mercer falls a bit more. Seems like he hasn't worked as much in this fifth round as he did in the. So it could be, you know, it could be maybe the other guys. Each guy punches hard. is not the type of guy you can give him leeway. You can't to his advantage, and he'll definitely step on the 80-yard line. He just takes off, and, and he gets 10 yards on you, and, and you just feel like there's no way you can catch him. And uh, he gives this to the man. That's what he takes advantage of. There's the jab. That and Evander didn't do anything. So he should punch and punch. He'll, he'll go at this pace 100 rounds. He'll do it. Mercer came in strong. Good lead right hand from Mercer, and then a snap jab off the hip. Mercer now has a little bounce to his step. Another right hand. Oh, very likely, but the last four rounds are going to be huge. Don Turner and Tommy Brooks tending to a cut. Skelly, let's see if we can find how that cut was started. Maybe not. Yeah, I would say that that's a good shot there. That as always in supreme, a chisel 209 pounds. But what kind of shape is his ticker in? That was the question. Himself together so he can hit Ray with a hard jab right hand. One, two for Murray. You see blood streaming down the face of Evander Holyfield. Talking about the clash ahead, potential there on the inside. Sharp, short left hand by Holyfield as Mercer came forward. They did on the cut, did not hold up. Good jab, right? He can't stop there and give, gets, because as long as he's moving, taking little steps and letting his hands. Up here and let him in. Vanner's already hurt a little bit with the eye. He can't let for this round here and give it away. He wants him. He's definitely keeping him off balance. Left hook. Here it comes. Oh, and the effects of that left hook look like Mercer kind of oh, a little delay effect at left hook from Holyfield. Around that Mercer was winning. Holyfield is going to take with ease. Mercer for the first time in his career. Himself for that one. John, watch for the left hook here. How do you pull it off? He just caught him coming. He does what Evander, Evander his hands go when you're aggressive with him without him throwing punches. He's letting his hands go good, and that's how hurt he was. Another look. Left hook again comes in from Holyfield. Greatest rounds in heavyweight boxing, his Vander Holyfield. What an amazing career it's been. Well, he's definitely got more energy. This is a much different Evander Holyfield down the stretch. Field. They will have three minutes to go from Atlantic City. It is now or never for 34-year-old Ray Mercer. And the now came in the ninth, the ninth round that I felt he won John Scully. Above all else, he erased any. Tenth and final round. They are trying to dam up fight. Instead, it inspires of urgency here. I, I would feel like he's got to feel like he's probably a little bit behind, especially with the knock situation. It's only going to get worse for him if he doesn't have to get some respect from Holyfield. Holyfield step one taking small steps forward not Mercer and you would think there would be urge or anything like that because he's not Ray should be a little bit desperate Mercer falls in with a right hand 
And then brings down Holyfield. Fatigue might be a factor. If anything, he might be the one. We were worried about Holyfield's fatigue. Holy hears that 10 second clap, and it's like an alarm going off for him. From that moment in round onward, Vander finished nicely, really, really well. Definitely. An alarm of urgency. That and he was him. a completely different fighter. Hey Mercer obviously feels good about his performance tonight. And the Vander, uh, he reacted like a champion should. The winner, Evander. For Evander Holyfield, he does it so many questions and so many doubts. Yeah, he, uh, he came through and I thought he looked very... For Ray Mercer, you see his reaction there, incredulous to the fact, three, three and one. For John Scully, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have a great night.